Hi, this is Drew Croft, and I'm going to be giving a an update for week six on the Spellbicus website. Uh, during week six, there was very little work done that is visible. Um, things that are, I, I guess, tangible and easy to see on the site. A lot of the work that was done this week was actually um, work on building and developing a relational database. Uh, if you think of a database like a spreadsheet, um, and you think of a table like a different sheet on a on a spreadsheet. Um, a relational database is basically sheets on on a spreadsheet that interact with each other. Um, so I'll try and give you a little bit of a visual of kind of what that looks like. Um, so this right here is the database uh, that we developed this week. Um, these are all the different tables that were developed and each table has the different fields that go into them. Um, so, you know, character details, for instance, has a lot of different fields and uh, relational database is basically how these tables interact with each other. So, you know, something like the skills, um, these will will go from character to character on the Spellbicus site. Um, so we worked uh, this week on actually building the database, uh, filling in the data for the for the different tables that we need to have data in. Um, for instance, these skills match up for they match up for when you log in here and you look at the skills here. So that table will hold all the different data um, for each of the different characters uh, for their skills and stuff like that. So all of this database has been developed. Um, the relationships between each of the different tables have been inputted so that each of the different tables interact with each other appropriately. So all of the work there has been done in a little bit more of a visual way of showing this. Um, it's called an ERD. Um, and this just shows the relationships between the different tables. So right here you can see the ERD diagram for Spelbicus. Um, and it just shows the different tables, how they interact with each other. Um, which fields they interact with and you can see that this one interacts with this, this one interacts with this um, and so on and so forth and a bunch of them interact with the character details table so and this is what we worked on accomplishing this week was getting this database set up so that the tables will all interact with each other appropriately um, there's not really anything to show for it for this next part, but we also did work on getting some of the coding down so that uh, what you see everything here right now is all just visual display. There's no, you know, none of this stuff actually does anything. <clears throat> so we've worked on the back end working with AngularJS to um, actually get AngularJS working on the back end a little bit. Um, to make these things a little bit more interactable. Um, again, there's nothing to show for that um, on the front end. Uh, we just basically got the AngularJS and started implementing it on the back end a little bit. Um, it, visually, there's nothing really to see differently. Um, we're just basically changing the back end structure so that it works a little bit better with the database. And that's it. That's uh, the status update for week six.